Alright, let's do this. I am the trainer for Olympic Softworks and an open source advocate and as such I'm going to try to do a college homework assignment I've got right now first on Microsoft Office running here in a virtual machine in virtual box and then over here on another window running uh, this is uh, LibreOffice running natively in my Linux installation here so this homework assignment is a fairly basic one to create a table with certain parameters that we were given first in a video and then in a rubric now I'm going to highlight all of them and then here I'm going to grab down the currency and get them all set at one time and over here I'm going to now in order to resize this column to hold these labels here uh, the video is showing just double click right here and this will auto resize for you that's great that'll work on Microsoft Office 2010 there's no guarantee to work on future versions and if you're in a situation where you need to work on a previous version that probably won't work um, something that will work in Microsoft Office and LibreOffice and any other Office type utility is to highlight the column, find your format tool, whether it's in more standard menus like these, or if it's over here in the ribbon menus. And then, of course, we've got column width and auto fit. Boom. There we go. All done. And at the very bottom here. Now, I've already created a table that holds all of the sundry things. I'm just going to go ahead and real quick for the sake of this video just pop them in here. Now what I just did is I copied and pasted. I highlighted this these sets of cells here. I did a control C. I came over here to my upper left hand type control V and voila I wish this would just not pop up. No one uses that, or at least I never have. Um, now this, this, and this are supposed to be in bold. Um, these, although the video didn't say, and I don't think our rubric does either, no, um, were indented. That's how they got that look there. That's it that you can see in our rubric. And, of course, the text is also all wrong. The text in the video is Tahoma and voila, oh, there we go, we gotta redo this, there we go, and all the numbers actually fit in, okay great. Now the uh, actual table portion was also, is also given in the rubric, and I've already entered most of it right here. Um, I'm just going to copy this. Again, I'm just highlighting from the upper left-hand corner to the lower right-hand corner. I type Control C. I get the scroll bars around it. Upper left-hand corner, Control V, and boom. Now, the top three lines, this line, and the bottom three lines are variable amounts. You have to type them in as you see it. Um, these in numbers right here are singular all the way across. I don't change, so I can just grab this and now something that uh, wasn't explained. That's kind of cool and helpful. Now here I'm doing a Control X and a Control V, so I'm cutting and pasting. And what I'm going to do here is, normally when you enter numbers, you you go down. It's pretty standard in uh, accounting practices. But say you want to go across. So you have a list of numbers and you want to go across. Highlight the first cell, drag across, so the cells are highlighted. You'll see that this is still a different color. So then if I type, 
just go ahead and type. Practice your uh, 10 key. Your cursor will go across and follow the highlight. So that might make it a little easier to uh, type in either, if not this. And of course, I just highlighted them, hit delete, and it erased them. If not this uh, particular instance, it'll make some things easier for you as you uh, create tables. And of course, down here we've got uh, and these should be right justified according to the there we go. And of course, this is again right justified. Alright, um, next up for some formulas.